On an episode of SmackDown, Nikki Bella and Eva Marie were set to have a match with the Funkadactyls. For whatever reason, the ring announcer, Tony Chimmel, was having some trouble with Eva's name. Making our way to the ring, Eva, Eva Marie. In the lead up to the 2012 WWE Championship Elimination Chamber match, all six participants faced off on Raw in a six pack challenge. Justin Roberts was doing ring announcing for the match and got a little tongue tied when he was explaining the rules. The first superstar to call. To to get a pinfall or submission. This might sound mean, but how do you mess up this badly? On Raw in 2006, Trish Stratus was defending her women's championship against Ashley. Mickey James was in her stalker fan phase, so she accompanied Trish for the match. James couldn't stand seeing her hero be defeated, so she got into the ring and went after Ashley. This caused a disqualification, and Ashley was the winner. However, Lillian Garcia, the ring announcer, said this. WWE Champion, Trish Stratus! Wait, 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 why is Trish the winner? Not only did Lillian announce the wrong winner, but she somehow got the Women's Championship mixed up with the WWE Championship. How does that happen? Christy Hemi learned the hard way that you don't want to mess up Austin Aries' ring introduction. On Impact Wrestling, Aries and Bobby Roode teamed up to take on the bad influence. Christy Hemi was doing the ring announcing, and she must have got her announcements mixed up. Introducing Bert Austin Aries' reaction to Hemi's botch was insane, and he forced her to reintroduce them correctly. Well, at least Christy Hemi won't make that mistake again. If you can name this wrestler, then you already know more than Michael Buffer. Buffer is a world famous re announcer and did the announcing for WCW's main event matches. For some reason, though, he never got Bret Hart's name correct. Bret the Hitman Clark! Bret Hitman Clark. Did no one in WCW seriously ever tell Michael Buffer he was saying the Hitman's name incorrectly? At the end of 2015, the Usos received the Slammy Award for Tag Team of the Year. Lillian Garcia must have thought they won an award from somewhere else because she said this. At a combined weight of 479 pounds, Grammy Award winning Tag Team of the Year. WWE even replayed the botch when they returned from commercial break. However, the next week, Garcia made sure she got it right. They are the slamming tag team of the year. In early 2022, Xavier Woods was sidelined with a leg injury. About two months later, it looked like Kofi Kingston was going to take on Rich Holland in a match. However, Kingston surprised everyone with the return of Xavier Woods. Or at least it was supposed to be a surprise, but the ring announcer accidentally ruined it. His opponent, accompanied to the ring by Xavier Woods from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in a two- This one might be the funniest ring announcer botch ever. You can literally hear just how confused he got. During the first night of WrestleMania 37, five tag teams competed for a shot at the Women's Tag Team Championship. It was a turmoil match, and at one point, Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke were in the ring with the Riot Squad. The fight ended when Liv Morgan managed to pin Dana Brooke. I guess the re-announcer wasn't paying attention because he said this. The, the Riot Squad has been eliminated. No, I, I believe that was an error. By our, it, it, it was an error. Rain announcers aren't the only people that mess up. Sometimes WWE plays the wrong wrestler's music. To hear that, watch this video.